Hey crypto fans, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, we're going to take a look at seven of the best crypto debit cards for 2022. All right guys, and as always, if you enjoy the content that I create, then go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up because why not, right? And also guys, feel free to follow me on Twitter here as well. You can find the link to you can find the link to my profile in the, in the video description down below. I like to talk about altcoins and day trading and stuff like that on a daily basis, so if you guys are into that sort of thing, go ahead and give me a follow. All right, guys, so for those of you who are new to my channel or new to this video or whatever, um, I'm doing this video simply for people who just simply don't have enough time to do research on their own, because um, quite frankly, there's a lot of people out there who just don't have time to do research on their own. Um, you know, that's just the life that we live in. So um, they can, you know, listen to this video and get a general overall, overall idea of what some of these different cards are about. And yeah, so... All right, guys, the very first crypto debit card we're going to look at, actually the first probably three or four we're going to look at here, actually have not been released. They are not um, available yet, but they are upcoming and they are, um, they're very, <laughs> they're cards that, that people are definitely following quite a bit of. So we're going to take a look at those first and then we'll take a look at some of the more popular options that, um, you know, people probably already know of pretty much. So guys, the very first one we're going to look at today is the Voyager debit card, okay? Um, for people who don't know, Voyager is a, um, it's pretty much a place where people can go and buy and sell cryptocurrency, and basically what it is, is it's a, you know, it's an app where, you, um, it's not an exchange, it's more of a broker, brokerage, and you can buy, or you can buy and sell cryptocurrency, you can, um, you know, you can earn rewards on your cryptocurrency, all kinds of different things, and it's pretty great. It's an awesome app. It's been growing like crazy in the past, you know, within the past past year and a half or so and it's overall guys it's continuing to grow massively so um, now they're introducing their own debit card so um, what's cool about the invest Voy or about the Voyager debit card is um, apparently you can earn up to 9% rewards um, and according to their website it says a debit card that earns like crypto and spends like cash all from your Voyager account use everywhere debit card master everywhere debit MasterCard is accepted so guys you can use this card anywhere that MasterCard is accepted which is awesome um, everybody knows you know Visa and MasterCard are like the two biggest um, processing you know credit pro credit card processing companies out there um so you know that's pretty awesome to see um let's see here you can earn crypto earn like earn like crypto and spend like cash so guys the uh the voyager debit card empowers you to earn rewards every single month and you can spend um spend your usd coin like cash so basically for those of you who don't know usd coin is pretty much a stable coin that's pegged to the dollar um so pretty much one dollar is you know one usd coin so i mean pretty much that um, let's see here. So you'll earn 9% just for holding, um, or you can earn monthly rewards with the stable U with uh, USDC coin, um, which is at 9%, and which is at a 9% annual rate. So that's awesome, you guys. And the uh, the crypto that you earn, um, you'll earn it in your account on a monthly basis. So that's nice to see. Um, let's see here. There's no annual fee either. So that's nice too. There's no hidden fees whatsoever. Nothing like that. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Voyager has their own token called VGX, okay? Um, and they have their own uh, loyalty program as well. So if you are new to Voyager, or you don't know anything about Voyager, um, it simply says here that the Voyager loyalty program rewards Voyager token holders uh, with special Voyager debit card bonuses, like a monthly rewards booster, crypto back, crypto back on purchases and more. Um, you can learn a lot more from their website as well with this as well. But uh, there's definitely, there's different tiers that you can uh, reach just by being, just by holding on to VGX, VGX tokens. And you will earn even more rewards just by holding on to those VGX tokens as well. So, I mean, overall guys, there's a whole lot of benefits going on here with the Voyager debit card and actually having a Voyager, you know, being part of the Voyager, you know, um, being part of Voyager just in general. So that's great to see. It's awesome. Um, let's see here. Um, is there anything else that we can talk about with this one? Pretty much no. Um, you know, they've got, you know, they've got a great app available on Google Play and, uh, and you know, and uh, uh, the Apple Store. And, you know, they've got an awesome app. The app is very easy to use. It's very simple. Um, I would assume that their debit card uh, stuff is going to be integrated right into their current app. I don't know yet, though. I could be wrong. They could have a separate app for it. I don't know. Um, I would assume that it's all going to be integrated within the same app, though. So that'll be nice. Um, overall, though, overall, though, you guys, uh, Voyager is definitely one of those debit cards that's up and coming. That's uh, you definitely need to pay attention to. So the next one we've got for you guys today, that was number one. So here, number two is another one coming up. You guys, it is the debit card by Storm X. Now, for those of you who don't know about Storm X, um, Storm X is pretty much a company. It's a U.S. based company that um, 
basically you can shop at all your favorite stores and or you know i mean if the stores are available through the through the store max app but you you download the app and you can shop right through the app through your different stores so if you want to buy something on you know nike.com or something like that or samsung.com um you know you can earn crypto cash back rewards just for shopping at that store through the store max app um and store max is coming out with their own card which is pretty nice because you'll be able to earn up to 5% crypto cash back on all purchases. So guys, it says right here, um, with the Storm X debit card, uh, you'll be able to earn up to 5% crypto cash back on all purchases, which is awesome. That's really nice because, you know, obviously, guys, we all know, you know, the regular fiat credit cards and debit cards. You really, you know, when you're earning when you're earning crypto back or when you're earning cash back, you know, they, they really kind of like limit how much you earn. Um, so it's pretty nice to see that uh, you'll earn up to, up to 5% on all purchases rather than just some. So that's nice to see. Um, let's see here. You can also spend and earn STMX at um, 46 million different locations globally. STMX is uh, StormX's, uh, that's their actual, you know, um, digital currency. Um, so that's nice to see. And let's see here, you'll also earn up to 15% crypto cash back at over 15,000 different physical stores. So that's nice. Um, that's a, that's some pretty big cash back, you guys. Um, let's see here. And you can stack your rewards right within the StormX app. So that's nice, you guys. Um, and what's also cool about the StormX app is, you know, let's say you, you know, you're earning crypto cash back, but you know, you can earn even more on top of that. You can take your StormX tokens that you're earning, or you can take your token, yeah, you can take your StormX tokens that you're earning, and you can stake that too, and you can earn even more rewards on a, you know, monthly basis on top of your rewards from shopping at different places and stuff. So it's pretty nice. There's a lot of benefits to using StormX. Um, so let's see here. They got two different cards. So they got the standard card that will be good for people who are in the purple, bronze, and silver level, and a premium card for gold, platinum, and diamond users. Um, now, the differences here, obviously, uh, for between standard and premium is, you know, obviously, um, you'll earn uh, with the with the with the premium card, you'll earn up to five percent um, cash back on. Uh, pretty much all shops everywhere, but with the standard card, you'll only earn up to 2%. So it really definitely pays to, you know, if you are a higher tier member, you're going to earn a lot more. Um, and that's going to be pretty much typical with, you know, pretty much any um, any type of reward system like this with pretty much any company. So uh, let's see here. Um, and apparently you can load the card on the go as well. You can do it at Walgreens, 7-Eleven. I mean, for people in the United States, I don't know if these places are anywhere across the country or anything like that. But here in the States, you guys, we got Walgreens, we got 7-Eleven, we got Walmart, CVS Pharmacy, Western Union, MoneyGram. And you can, you know, go ahead and load your card up at, you know, with you can load up your card at any of these places. So that that's nice to see as well. Um, let's see here. And you'll also be able to freeze your card as well. If you think it's been stolen or it's lost or something like that, um, you can deposit, you know, put deposit easily, um, zero ATM fees. Uh, you can use it with, uh, you know, Apple pay, Google pay and Samsung pay. So that's nice to see overall though. You guys, again, it's another solid crypto debit card that is up and coming and you don't want to miss out on this one. Um, again, these two, I'm very excited about personally Voyager and Stormax. These two have made huge strides within the last Gosh, within the last year and a half, it's not even funny. So, and another one that's coming up, you guys, would be the Coinbase card, okay? Um, this one still says coming soon. They've been talking about this for quite a while. Um, you know, personally, um, Coinbase has so many products coming out that it just, they, they're, they're, they're so ambitious, it's not even funny. Um, they've got a lot going on. I'm, I'm really curious as to, you know, when this is, if this is ever going to come to fruition or not, to be honest with you. But um, Coinbase, everybody knows Coinbase, Coinbase. Um, you know, it's pretty much the largest crypto exchange in the United States. Um, and they are a publicly traded company as well. Um, let's see here. So with the crypto, crypto, with the Coinbase debit card, you will be able to spend crypto. Um, you can spend crypto or US dollars everywhere that Visa debit cards are accepted. Everybody knows Visa. It's accepted pretty much everywhere. Um, and you can earn crypto rewards. You'll be earn, you'll be able to earn up to 4% back in rewards whenever you make a purchase and there is no annual fee. So here's the thing you guys, okay. Coinbase offers 4% back in rewards. Okay. We just looked at the storm X card. They're all offering up to 5% on, on, you know, in rewards. So, I mean, clearly, I mean, that just, that just goes to show which one is, you know, better, obviously. And then Voyager up to 9% rewards, um, Coinbase only up to 4%. So, I mean, you can clearly see, 
um, you know, just between these three, which one is probably going to be better. Um, I'm not going to go too far into depth on the Coinbase card because I personally, I mean, the only reason I have it in my list here, you guys, is because simply because, you know, it is going to be available Probably it's going to be available mostly to United States users. I mean, because there's a lot of other, a lot of these other cards that, you know, aren't available to U.S. users. Um, and that's going to be pretty much a couple of them that we're going to show in a little bit here. So the next card I've got for you guys today would be the Nexo credit card. Okay. So if you guys don't know anything about Nexo, it's, um, it, they are coming out with their, um, they're coming out with their with their uh, with their crypto card here soon. I would I I do not I do not know. I think it is available right now, um, but I'm not quite sure. Don't don't quote me on that. But um, let's see here. The Nexo card uh, it lets you unlock the value of your digital assets and keep their upside potential, and it offers up to two percent cash back. Um, it's accepted worldwide by 40, 40 million plus merchants. Um, you know, it's uh, free additional virtual cards. You have free, uh, virtual cards as well. Um, payments in local currencies and no minimum monthly payments. Um, let's see here. They got a pretty nice app. I know if you can see this or not, I mean, you can see that they got a pretty nice app right there. So that's nice to see. Um, let's see here, but I'm noticing that the dollars here, um, they're not, I, I, I'm noticing everything is in, I don't know, you know, I'm from the United States, you guys. I don't know if this is, you know, I don't know if this is pounds or euros or what. I don't, I really don't know. Um, but it's definitely not United States dollars. So I'm pretty curious as to if this is uh, available to United States users or not. Um, I mean, it would be nice if it is. Uh, but let's see, as we can see here, you guys, the Nexo card, earn up to 2% cash back on all transactions. I mean, that's great and all, but as we've seen with the last few cards, you can earn, earn a lot more with Stormax and Voyager, so that's awesome. Um, you know, this is going to be, this is definitely going to be, though, one of those cards that, like, you know, obviously they've got really nice, you know, they have probably have really great support, and they probably have a really great, I mean, as you guys, as you guys can see, um, their in-app suite is pretty nice looking, honestly, so overall, I think this is going to, I think this is probably going to be a great, um, great product here for them. Um, let's check their Google Play real quick. So they the Nexo, um, the Nexo app they already have about eighteen thousand reviews, and it looks like most of them are pretty darn good. So um, <laughs> honestly, if you're looking to see if it's uh, if it's a trustworthy company to buy into or not, um, you know me personally, I would probably definitely trust it. I mean, everything about this company seems. 100% legit, so um, I would definitely have no problem uh, going through here and uh, checking out their card further in depth if you're into it. Um, so guys, that would be the number five card. No, sorry, that would be the number four card. So the next card I got for you guys today is going to be the Binance Visa card, okay? Now this is going to be huge for all the Binance users out there, right? Um, there's a lot of people who are, you know, Binance users. I'm personally not, uh, but there are. Um, and let's see here with the Binance card, you can spend your favorite cryptocurrencies at more than 60 million merchants worldwide. Um, just transfer crypto from your spot wallet to your funding wallet and you're ready to go. Um, you can spend your crypto anytime, anywhere. Um, let's see here. There's zero fees. Uh, your Binance card is completely free. Uh, Binance will not charge any administrative or processing fees and you can hold crypto and exchange only when you need to and you will earn up to 8% cash back on your purchases. Again, guys, all of these cards that offer anything over 5% is pretty much going to be huge. Um, anything over 5% pretty much takes out any other major credit card company, you know, any major card company out there. Um, pretty much I really haven't seen anything above 5% from any of the major uh, fiat uh, credit card companies or anything like that. So it's nice to see that these credit card or that these crypto credit card companies or these crypto card companies, um, you know, offerings are way over 5%. That's really nice to see. Um, and I think that's the future, you guys. I really do because people want to earn more. And the more that you earn, you know, the more people, people if, if, if you're earning a lot, then there's going to be people that are going to follow. So um, it just goes to show that, uh, you know, with time, you guys, I truly believe that uh, cards like this are going to take the world by storm. I really do. Um, simply because, you know, everybody wants to earn more. So, uh, you know, just that alone makes you want to turn your head from, you know, uh, Capital One or City Financial or, um, you know, all those other companies and go to a crypto card. All right, guys. So 
that does it for the Binance card. So next, guys, we are going to take a look at Crypto.com. Now, everybody's heard of Crypto.com. They have grown tremendously in 2021. I mean, they've they've been growing tremendously ever since they started, to be honest with you. Um, but overall, you guys, they've got, you know, they're huge. They've got They've got five different cards. Um, let's see here. They've got the Mighty Blue or the Midnight Blue card, the, the Ruby Steel card, the Royal Indigo and Jade Green card, um, the Frosted Rose and Icy White cards, and the Obsidian card. Obsidian card is going to be your best card, um, clearly. Um, let's see here. I would assume if you are staking, let's see here. How does this work here? So compare staking and non staking benefits. So if you are staking, let's see here, 400 thousand us dollars with the obsidian card you're going to earn up to eight percent um so that, that's really not too bad but i mean the majority of people probably aren't doing that majority of people i mean i mean really think about this you guys the majority of people um in the world i mean specifically in the united states are probably going to more or less fall into this category um you know where they're able to stake like four thousand dollars you can earn three earn up to three percent um, so that's nice to see as well. But I mean, hey, if you're a high loader and uh, you know you got the money, you might as well just go for the obsidian or frosted white, and you know go ahead and go ahead with those uh, with those big numbers and earn that earn that crypto cash back. Um, and there's also a bunch of other types of benefits and stuff like that as well. So obviously, with the obsidian card, you're going to get access, you know, to all of these um, services as well. So like Spotify, uh, you'll have one reimbursement per 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 merchant per month. Um, so that's nice to see. So pretty much your entire Spotify account will be paid for. Um, you know, your uh, your Netflix account, Amazon Prime, um, maximum one reimbursement per merchant per month. Um, you know, if that's on a per month basis, though. So that's not like your yearly, um, your, you know, like a yearly thing or anything like that. It's more of like a monthly reimbursement. Um, let's see here. And card limits, you know, you got 1,000, 1,800, 400, and 200. Um, so overall, you guys, you know, they've got great cards. Um, they really do have great cards and I've heard a lot of good things about them. But again, I, again, I just, the Storm X card and the Voyager card, they're just, you know, they're going to take the world by storm. They really are. Um, they've got, they've got such big fan bases now, and I will truly believe they're going to take off with them debit cards. Um, but overall, you know, hey, if you're into it right now and you want to look for something right now, the Crypto.com card is probably the card I'd be looking for right now, um, personally. Um, so next, guys, the next card that I'm going to show you guys, the last one for the video is going to be the BitPay card, okay? So BitPay, let's see here. You can instantly instantly reload your card with no conversion fee, and they've got, you know, obviously apps on the Apple Store and Google Play. We'll check that out real quick. Oh, nope, that's just a image. I don't want to do that. Um, here we go. So BitPay has on Google Play, they have 9,500 reviews, and their average is like a four point, it's like a four out of five. Um, so that's not too bad. Um, there's a lot of people that, you know, give it five stars, and there's a lot of people who give it one star. Um, so clearly, there's, you know, the people who give it five star, you know, they're probably really loving it, and they probably really like it. Uh, people who give it one star, they probably, it's just a probably, they probably just have a one off bad experience. And they're like, Oh, my God, screw this app. And I'm just gonna give it a negative review. And, you know, hopefully nobody else downloads it, that type that sort of thing. So I wouldn't really, you know, listen to the five or to the one star reviews. Um, but overall, you guys, let's see what BitPay card has to offer. So you get, you know, it's pretty simple, you get the app, you load your wallet, and you order your card. And it's as simple as that, you guys, and then your card is probably works in tandem with whatever, um, um, you know, whatever kind of funds you have in your wallet, obviously. Um, let's see here. It's a prepaid MasterCard for the crypto community. Um, it's designed for people who want to live off, live life on crypto. Uh, you can view your balance, request a new PIN, um, and reload instantly, all within the BitPay app. Now, guys, when crypto becomes more and more mainstream in the future, um, this is one of those cards that you're going to want to look at because this is going to probably take off as well. Um, clearly, because they already have a you know pretty big audience as audience as it is, so. Uh, but let's see here. As you guys can see, they got a really nice app. Uh, let's see here for limits. So um, there is a $2,000 per withdrawal limit. Um, you can only do up to three withdrawals per day. Um, you can load up to $10,000 per day on the card, and you can only spend up to $10,000 per day. And you can only have a maximum balance of $25,000, including cash loads. 
As far as fees are concerned, there is a $10 card issue fee, a $2.50 ATM fee, and a $0 monthly fee. And there's no conversion fee for loading your card, and there's a $10 um, fee for replacing the card as well. Um, let's see here. Now, an inactivity fee, there is a $5 per month after 90 days with no transactions. So that's pretty nice to see. They're covering their own butt there. I mean, I, I don't blame them, to be honest with you. But overall, you guys, um, sounds like a great, it's a great card. I mean, it's one of the more popular ones out there. So if you're interested in something that's more mainstream that, um, you know, is ready to go pretty much right now, um, you know, go ahead and check this one out. But overall, go, overall, though, you guys, I'm personally waiting for the Voyager and the Stormax debit card. I mean, I'm a big fan of both Stormax and Voyager. So, I mean, I would really like to see these two cards take off. And they're just fun to use. I mean, their apps are just fun to use. It just makes it fun for everybody. So, um, all right, guys, overall, these are my seven best uh, crypto debit cards. And if you're still with me, um, you know, hey, I really appreciate it here. So, but that pretty much does it, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, but again, guys, before you guys leave, don't forget to follow me on Twitter here. You can find the link to my profile in the description below the video. And also, guys, if, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a daily basis. And hey, guys, uh, with that said, um, you know, hey, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you guys in my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.